house or you like a big baby? I'm a big baby. I'm you, the big baby. You? I don't want to wait in line. I'm not going to wait in line. Okay. I'm, I'm going to the front. Big baby. OK, you like your way. Yeah. Baby likes attention. Baby likes to be nurtured. Yeah. Baby likes to have fun and play. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hell, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Baby likes to have fun yeah. and play. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. My name is Dr. Siri Satnam Singh, and I'm a licensed therapist. This week, I'm sitting down with a young man who proves that therapy isn't just for people with major struggles, but an opportunity to reflect on successes in life. This is DRAM. Ain't no telling why I'm feeling beyond, hey, hey, I'm beyond all that Hey, I got companies and pesos. I got people on my payroll. She don't do it unless I say so. I don't smoke if it ain't fuego. I should sauce them up like prego fettuccine with Alfredo. All I wanted was a Why, have you ever had therapy before? Never. I think me making music and recording it and performing it is therapeutic. Yes, I agree. For all artists. Yeah. I'm going to go down this uh, list here, arenas of, of success, and just to see which one you want to talk about. You, you're going to rate yourself from 1 to 10. OK. OK. And it's your assessment of yourself, nobody else's. So physical success, you know, what you're eating, you're exercising, you're healthy, you're doing what you. Yeah, 10. 10, OK. Mental success, your mind is your friend, or does it sort of betray you at times? Is your mind your friend? That shit is on 10,000. 10,000? It's like musically, like when I, when I um, get my, you know, when your I'm flow. in the creative process or whatever, it's just, it's right on the money or whatever. Um, so it's active. Yeah. And it's certain. serving you. Yeah. Spiritual success, do you have a way of deepening and enhancing and relating and being at one with your spirit where you know you're really Most alive. Certainly. Yeah, definitely 10. Family, one to 10. Well, five. Five. Even your face changed. Because it's bittersweet. I mean, my mother, I love her dearly. You feel me? Like, she's always believed, she's always knew she just wanted me to have a job. She wanted me to bring in some kind of duckage. God damn. Yeah. That's what she was like. Mook, I'm watching the when I was 17, and everybody was working here and working there. Your cousin, he's working. He want to do the music. He, you know, da, da, da. I'm like, you know, like, I'm up there. I'm filling up application. I was lying my ass off. I was making beats and writing songs and coming up with ideas and just dreaming. I, I know what I, I always knew what I wanted to really do. And you know, the grades fell off just cause I didn't give a mm -hmm. Like I was like senior year, I'm finna make music. I was wanting to rap and shit. Mm. So you didn't, you know, like you had the support of your family. Nah, they didn't, didn't get you. Nah. They didn't get you. Nah. Where's dad? I don't know. OK. So you don't know your father? I don't know your OK, OK. You, you never had a relationship with him. So there is some, I hear grief in that grievance right there. Yeah. There was one time back in like 2009, my mother uh, ran across his brother on Facebook, she looked at his picture, and it was a picture of, like, him and my father, like, back in the day or whatever. So when they were doing a lot of talking, my mother and my, like, biological un uncle. So, like, I low-key got excited. I was 21. But, like, I just kind of, like, kept it in, like, damn, I'm going to actually meet this nigga. 
And um, then like uh, the uncle had hit my mother back, like um, he had to go to China for like a couple months or something, and then he'll deal with it when he get back or some shit like that. I cried. That shit hurt my feelings. That nigga tried to come back around. Nah, f out of here, my nigga. You would've had a pass. You had a 21 year pass. That moment, I knew. I'ma make some of myself, my nigga. You gonna wanna be like, oh yeah, you know this is. Yeah, but don't, I don't know you, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what his face looks like right now. Wow. Wow. Everybody wanna come around when that paper could start rolling in. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah. So he hasn't reached out to you since. I mean, it's like I absolutely need nothing from no man. Okay. So let's get back to these ratings. Sexual. <laughs> I, I, I have sex. I know you do, yeah. but you, you're pleased with your sexual life? Yeah. Is that a 9 or 10, an 8 a, or 9? It's a, it's a 10. I, 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 I don't, you know, I don't go to sleep unhappy. You don't go much. to sleep unhappy. You know, you feel me? OK. So 9 or 10, 8, 7? You give... it's, I, I I give good sex. OK. Like, I, I, I got a good sex life. A oh, good sex life. So 9 or 10? 10. Matrimonial, relational, not necessarily matrimonial. You know, you're happy being single. Right. Some people are happy being I'm divorced. I'm a five on that. You're five. Okay. Five. So relations, talk about that, your relationships. That's, that's uh, something that causes a, uh, a little grievance. I want my cake and eat it, too. OK. What does that mean? If I'm serious about a girl mm -hmm. emotionally, yes. I still don't want to feel the guilt if I go out and. Oh, I see. And it's up. Oh, that's cake and eat it, too. Yeah, and it's up. That doesn't work for the woman. I mean. I mean. That, I don't, yeah. It's a growth thing, you know? Uh -huh. Because once it gets to a point where, OK, we legit boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh -huh. Then, then all that, all that shit, all that shit stops. Like, I, I don't, I don't play like that. Yeah, but I like to have situationships to to feel like there's still a little bit of freedom, but still a little bit of, you know, what you doing, four in the morning. So she your your special woman that you really got a commitment to, yet you still need a long rope. Yeah. I am in a in a thing where I I, I have I have a girl that I, that I f with more than any other girl. Yeah. But it's still other girls that I like and you know yeah. stuff like that. But well, you're young. You're 28. Yeah. 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 So you're into your work right now. Yes. You're into your work, into your career. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yet you have that. There's a part of you that. You like relationship. Yeah. You like relationship. Yeah. 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 You like relationship. You like to know someone's there when you like, okay, the money ain't going to bed with me. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> like, you can't f the money. You, you cannot know. have sex with the money. Yeah. You cannot caress yeah. the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you're not, so you're living where now? I don't, I don't live anywhere. So it's like hotel rooms, and if I'm ever uh, in a spot more than like two or three days, I get an Airbnb. A real free man. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is crazy when I think about it sometimes. So uh, let's talk about your career for a moment. So Cha Cha, it was a big hit. Did you ever think you'd make another record as big as that? I ain't gonna lie. This time last year, this Broccoli record came out of nowhere. I thought we was gonna have something cool for SoundCloud or something. That shit is gone five times platinum. So where is the fear? So now, where is the fear? I I, I thought I, I I thought that I wasn't gonna. I thought that it wasn't gonna be a moment to to really triumph again. I see. I felt it. I know I had it. 
You feel me? Like, I know I always got it to, but will it stick? Mm -hmm. You mean after Cha Cha, you didn't know if you were going to have another yeah, hit was, like that? Yeah, so, you know, like, because. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We were shocked. Yeah. Yeah, so this freedom thing really works for you. Because I hear all of your hits are coming out of, I didn't know that was a hit. I was just jiving around, just come. Yeah. Your biggest hits came out of a spontaneous, unconscious, unassuming moment. Yeah. And so I think that your process, you're on a trajectory that is not definable, it's not knowable, it's not, it's unseen, it's like, but when you trust it and just flow in that moment, right. wow. Moody and grumpy, you use those words, moody and grumpy. You still have to perform. You still got to go on the show, even if you moody and grumpy. Yeah, I'm a big, ba I'm you, a big baby. You moody and grumpy. The big baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to wait in line. I'm not going to wait in line. I'm, I'm going to the front, big baby. OK. OK, you like your way. Yeah. You like your way. Yep. OK. And you get very upset when you don't get your way. Nah. Not all the time. Nah. No. I mean, because you got to deal with it. It's you gotta life. Deal with it. So you're very professional. Yes. Obviously very professional that even if you have those uncomfortable feelings, you do what you got to do. Yeah. So one through 10, business professional, your career. Oh, yeah, 10. 10. Bro, like, I can't. 10 plus. Even when I don't even feel like it, like, I have to do it because I know where I want to go and I know where I was at. I know I'm never going back. OK, OK. You have come from little to a whole lot. Yeah. Doing You were doing odd jobs or? Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit oh. ass job. I was a brush and roll painter at the shipyard. OK. Um, tried to sell knives. Knives? <laughs> That knife shit. They said they wanted you to put the money down and get the knife. I'm like, oh, this a, this a scheme. Y'all, y'all niggas trying to jig and finesse. Why the f am I trying to work towards someone else's dream? I got my own brother. Yeah. I know what the f I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been fired from every job that I've had. Cause I, I didn't give a. F I mean, I was literally, the checks were coming in, it would just go right back out. It was pit short money. This ain't had no money, no paper. Can't get no real money. Where I'm from, oh, you successful if you work at the shipyard, like really in there, not a temp. Oh, you went to apprentice school or some shit. Oh, you in the military. Nah, it's not, a, it's not a dreamer's land, but that's where the imagination comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you aware your anger just came out? I mean, and you used. I'm just, I'm just passionate. Yeah, you are. But I'm just saying it. That yeah. was the, it came out. Yeah. And you used that anger to propel yourself forward. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you use your. Anger well to Right. I like to channel it. Yeah, you channeled it. You channeled it. Yeah. And you let it propel you and blaze your trail. So having dad not that sort of you had to be your own man. Yeah. So you've made something out of yourself. I you have a strong sense of uh selfhood. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Financial? I'm good. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Political, you. I don't give a f Don't give a f so we're gonna give it a I don't Z give a, f a Social. Social success. You got friends, you go out, you find yourself isolating. 
Well, I mean, when I'm with my people, I'm good. Like, mm -hmm. ten, like, like I make sure I'm, I, I'm, I'm very close knit. I'm okay. only around my my folk. And I only link with people that I desire to be around. Like your dog. Yeah, I love. Oh, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about Idnit. <laughs> talk about your dog. Man, his name is Idnit. I D N I T. Uh -huh. Stands for Idnit. So cute. Uh huh. He's just like, I don't know. He act. He acts a lot like me. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, he's one. He turned uh, one August 30th. You know what I'm saying? My birthday is August 3rd. Uh -huh. I think that's cute. He's a golden doodle. Yeah. What's so crazy, he chills so hard, you wouldn't think that he would be like active. As soon as he gets in the field, he run, 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 run. Like, a, like, like 30 miles an hour, it looks like. He runs very fast, like gallops, like a like a show dog or something. He really is sort of your best friend in a way, huh? He <laughs> chills with you when you feel like chilling, and when it's time to be free, he knows how to romp. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. So you got a 10. Yeah. Your music encompasses a lot of genres. It's hard to pin you down as just hip hop, I hear gospel in your music. I hear you have a affinity and a love of big bands. Yeah, big band. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, talk I, I about grew up, that. I grew up watching musicals. Musicals? Um, yeah, my favorite is The Sound of Music. I used to watch them with my Aunt Judy. Yeah, that's what I get. You're a student of music. Right. 80s uh, rock ballads, a uh, body and soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, they had lunch, they had the big band shit with the Frank Sinatra, all that shit. I mean, I just soaked it up. Mm -hmm. Another word that comes to me and sit in front of you is beyond. You know, your, your music is not really definable in a genre. And it's this freedom that links you to that which is beyond. And when you make that connection, you don't even know it. Because you went beyond. Am I making any sense to right, you? Right, right, right. Just trust myself that I'm going to be able to do whatever is needed of me and, and do it authentically and just mm -hmm, from, mm -hmm. you know, my heart. It's like when artists make these great works, you're just in it. Mm -hmm. And you don't know often what the response is going to be. You just have a calling right. and a passion is like, right. I got to do this. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. Exactly. I just got to, man. I just got to. I just yeah. got to. I'm going to yeah. be making music until I'm old and dead. My last breath will be a music note. I don't think we can predict where you're going. What does that sound like to you? Am I connecting with you? Yes. We, we can't predict the next moment for drum. Right. Expect the unexpected. As cliche as it sounds, it's just sweet and to the point, and it's true as Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I have this little practice. It's like a little treat. These are angel cards, and let's see what they say. What are they gonna tell you? Flexibility. Well. Let's see, what, what does that word do to you? Just let me know, like, bro, like, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta stretch, man. Like, if you want the donuts to be glazed properly, if you want the bakery to still be open, goddammit, you must be flexible. Okay, okay. Yeah. What happened here today for you? Not what you thought was gonna happen, not what you wanted to happen, or. But really, what did happen for you today? I think a really good conversation with a guy that like understands my approach in life and, and, and in music and in my artistry and acknowledging what I do as artistry. Please do a favor to us all and continue to trust that freedom that flows through you and that indefinable spirit that you, you have that just takes you to places that 
we didn't know there was a space. Would you please continue to trust that? This shit is gonna last. Yeah. Well, you're just getting started. Yeah.